All right, so we do have some updated news on a Brian Reynolds trade. So apparently, according to Cody Duncan, the Yankees, Dodgers, Mariners are the three strongest candidates to get Brian Reynolds per John Morosi. He also added that Reynolds to the Mariners looks more promising. Now, it could be a real thing. So I decided in this video, I want to go through the three teams, why they would need Brian Reynolds or what they would be looking for in Brian Reynolds and what type of trade package would get Brian Reynolds to their teams. So let's start off with the Yankees. You would need a lot of pitching. According to sources, apparently they wanted Nestor Cortez in a trade which hey you're not gonna get nasty Nestor. Nestor is a staple piece on the Yankees and someone they need to have for the remaining of his contract. Nestor did really well last year and I just don't see the Yankees giving him and a bunch of prospects up just to get Reynolds in left field. Yes Brendan Reynolds does has the control and that's a big thing why these teams want him because he did kind of perform decently last year. Brian Reynolds had a 262 batting average. He had a 354 OBP, a 461 slugging, 807 OPS, and a 126 OPS plus. He is a guy that has proven himself the last couple years in Pittsburgh and is someone that honestly the Yankees would enjoy the idea of having. I honestly think a trade package for someone like a Max Kepler would be something they'd rather do just because they don't have to give up as much. Will the Yankees get Brian Reynolds? I don't know. I'm not a GM. It's just only time will tell. So with that being said, let's get into my proposed trade package. Before we get into the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me if you guys think that the Pirates could be asking for these type of Juan Soto deals for Brian Reynolds or is the Pirates just end up going to end up keeping Brian Reynolds until you know a few years down the line or at the deadline i think the pirates are just asking for a lot right now and i generally don't know if he'll end up moving to any team so this is the proposed trade for the yankees do i think this is a decent trade I don't know. Personally, as a Yankees fan, I don't want to give up a Peraza. I don't want to give up Schmidt. I think he'll do really well next year, even though they kind of forced him into some weird closer role at the end of the season. I think Schmidt has a bright future in the Yankee system, but I think the Pirates, they want starting pitchers, right? So I threw in three pitchers, two from the minor leagues, and of course, Schmidt was in the majors last year. And of course, I think you have to add some outfield to replace Reynolds, so I'm going to put in Peraza. And also, your Peraza, which is a shortstop. There's no reason why they would run a shortstop because they have O'Neill Cruz. You could probably slide Peraza to second base or something like that or you could possibly trade Peraza and get something else if the Pirates really wanted to. Now Brian Reynolds for this type of package I think it's an overpay to be honest with you but a lot of people want that left field option and Reynolds would fix that perfectly. Now the one that gets really interesting is Dodgers because I don't know what the Dodgers are going to do. As you guys know the Dodgers have a lot of good starting pitchers. Some people believe people like Bobby Miller will be that cornerstone of the starting pitching rotation for the Dodgers for years to come. For example like right now you guys have Clayton Kershaw. People really think that Bobby Miller won't be and I won't say as good as Clayton Kershaw but will be on the level or expectations of a Clayton Kershaw and I honestly don't think the Dodgers are going to end up giving him up. So if you wanted to put Bobby Miller into this type of trade, he is worth $30.9 million according to baseball trade value. Now, do I think you're going to give up a Bobby Miller? I don't think so. He's a bright future in your guys' system. He's a great pitcher, and I think they just want to keep him at the end of the day. So I don't know how the Dodgers get this done because if the Pirates really want starting pitching, you're going to have to throw in a lot from your minor leagues. First off, you got to probably throw in Miller, like I said. you got to probably throw in Stone. you got to probably throw in someone like an Amaya. You probably got to throw someone in like a Nastorini. This package right here makes up everything you would need to get Brian Reynolds according to the trade value, but I don't think this is a realistic package. Like I said, I don't think you guys are going to give Bobby Miller. You're probably going to give him some outfield from your minor league system. Maybe someone like an Outman or someone like Vargas, which proved himself in the major leagues this year. Even though he doesn't play outfield, he could still fill that first base spot that the Pirates do have, even though they signed Carlos Santana, but someone that will play there for the future years to come. I think Vargas in a trade would be okay too and maybe remove Miller from that situation. I don't think you guys are getting rid of Miller at all. Do I think Brian Reynolds will look great in the Dodgers lineup? I think so for sure. I mean, honestly, you could probably put him in, well, he plays center, of course. So Trace Thompson right now, according to Fangraphs, is projected to play center field for you guys next year. And you have James Outman in left field. But honestly, you probably throw in Brian Reynolds to play that center field and you'd probably put someone like Trace Thompson to left field. And James Outman will probably be on your bench. I think adding Brian Reynolds to a roster of Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, Will Smith, Max Muncy, JD Martinez, Gavin Lux, Trace Thompson, and Chris Taylor is actually such a good team. Now, do I think this makes the Dodgers a better team than they were last year? I don't think so, but it's nice to have someone like a Brian Reynolds on your team to rely on because he has proven himself in the major leagues. I think this would be a perfect candidate for your team, but I don't know how you guys get this package done without trading someone away like Bobby Miller. On the last team I want to talk about is the Mariners. Apparently the Mariners are in the Brian Reynolds sweepstakes that might happen or may not happen. It's just all smoke and rumors right now, but let's get into it. Let's see what the Mariners could provide 
the pirates because i don't think there's much so like i said the pirates want some starting pitching so therefore you guys are gonna have to probably give up one of your starting pitchers because if i'm going off of what the news is about you know them wanting nestor cortez you're gonna have to probably give up someone that is a starting pitcher on your major league roster now who would that be i have no clue i know you're not gonna give gilbert you're not gonna give up kirby you're not gonna give up these mainstays on your roster however you're probably gonna have to dig deep into the minor league pool of players for example there's not a lot but you're gonna have to give up hancock bro you're gonna have to give up dollard you're gonna have to give up all these pieces to get brian reynolds and i don't think it's enough but i think it's funny to entertain the idea of the mariners getting someone like a brian reynolds because man brian reynolds on that mariners team would be stacked you got a young outfield core of brian reynolds and julio rodriguez and whoever would play the other side of the field and i think this would be a really fun team to watch i think the mariners have the most wild card when it comes to getting brian reynolds just because i don't know how they would get it done they don't have a lot of pieces in that minor league system so you'd probably have to throw in cash in a deal or give someone from your major league team which i don't think the mayors would do since they even made it to the wild card last year that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching you made it this far let me know in the comment section down below which team you would want brian reynolds to be on do you want him to stay on the pirates do you want him to be on your mariners team do you want him to be on your dodgers team do you want him to be on the yanks let me know in the comment section down below have a great day guys bye